Hey! Happy Friday, everyone. It's Friday. I finished work for the... Well, I haven't finished work for the week. I've got to go back tomorrow to work, but fucking Jesus, I've had a shit week. And I am so glad to be home. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Working on my own job tomorrow. I know it's going to be cushy. Don't forget, I'm on uh, Scott and Wanda's live 12 hours live stream thing for Great Ormond Street Hospital. Go along. Plenty of people watching... Uh, well, plenty of guests, and uh, hopefully there'll be lots of people watching daffing going on. But if you're just interested in watching me, for God knows some strange reason, pop along at around four o'clock. I'll be there. Anyway, let's get on with the next beer review. As I say, I'm going to give you a clue now. We're going in Belgium. Naffle again. Blade over there. Uh, a keg that they actually released for uh, it was it was short dated. Uh, and I think it was basically sort of released to see how it would go, see if it was worth doing. Uh, as I say, Afflegem from the Blade, but it's not the normal Afflegem. This is a keg of Afflegem Triple, coming in at 9%. Uh, it was short dated, I got a tenner off it, so it's 35 quid for 8 litres. Well, you might go, ooh, it's a bit bloody expensive. Come on, let's get a grip, let's get a grip. Uh, I'm going to quickly just pick my camera up, because obviously I've got the light filters that I've told you about. Uh, so I've got the, I'm, I'm trying to go along with the design on the label here. So I've got yellow and blue with a little bit of white in there as well. So if I just swing that around, I don't know how well you're gonna see that, but I think it looks pretty damn funky. So uh, yeah, so basically without further ado, I'm gonna dive over there. We're gonna do a video of the pour. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see what this bad boy is like. So back in a tick. So we're back. Uh, I was quite surprised how lifeless the poor was. There we go. It's extremely hazy. Burnt orange, amber in colour. We've literally just got a sprinkling on top there. Whether that's come down to my pour, I do find sometimes uh, Belgian beers are a bit of a funny thing. They're either lively as hell, or when you're putting them in this style of glass, you don't need to tilt them. Maybe that's just my own experience, but certainly with the left as well. It needs to be just be poured as it's poured. And maybe the old Afflegen triple is along the same lines. So that was the first glass out of it as well. So I didn't get any huge thing. I'm not seeing a lot of carbonation. Uh, I've done all the hazy burnt orange kind of look on it. With a little bit of red. So we'll dive in on the nose, see what we get. <clears throat> not an awful lot of it if I'm totally honest a s real sort of subdued a little bit of yeastiness a little bit of sweetness They're, I'm not getting an awful lot off, off it uh, like I say it's short dated I won't deny this is out of date now uh, but the, the Lagunitas that I had uh, before this keg was fantastic no different so uh but we'll see what we get with this anyway so cheers everyone hmm Very lifeless, very lifeless. Uh, <clears throat> which makes me think, is that down to the keg being out of date? Uh, it's been stored cold. Uh, as I've said, I've said about the, the life, there's no life in the pour, which surprised me. It's clearly too cold. For me, you know, two degrees, Afflegem triple. It's too cold. Maybe that is killing, killing the carbonation and that. 
there is a bit of body to it, but it does it does seem extremely thin. Lack of carbonation. The mouthfeel is hindered a little bit by the lack of carbonation. Taste wise, I've got to say, I mean, if this is an Afrigem triple on its bad day, on a good day, I reckon it'd be belting. I'm picking some lovely flavours up in there. Really getting some nice flavours. You know, I've, I've gone, I've pretty much hit you with all the shit. Slightly yeasty, but not too yeasty. Slightly sweet, not too sweet. It's got a lovely fruity note to it. Real fruity, not nothing like left either for me. Lovely sweetness in there that's almost orange citrus fruit sort of notes in there. I'm also getting sort of like a, a hint of honey in the taste. It's smooth enough to drink, although the mouthfeel is a little bit disappointing because I think you could just, just do with that little pop of fizz. But as I say, that could be down to the keg. But but flavour wise, it is really nice. Uh, maybe the date on it is affecting it, but I'd probably say I'm I'm preferring this over the normal Afflegen Blonde. Uh, I, I I would probably have to get, obviously we'll get through this keg. If I feel it's any different further down, maybe I'll do another video just to, just to let you know that it may be changed or, or, or whatever. If I feel it's any better and can do it more justice, I would put another video up. But for me in this current state, although a bit lifeless, and I know, trip, you know, these blondes and triples aren't, Although they can, they can, they can either be really carbonated or they can just be very sort of, I wouldn't say dead, but yeah, dead would be the word. Like, but taste-wise, this is this is beautiful and something I could, I could really cane the L out of, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, I don't know when this is going to come out. Uh, I believe it I believe it's gonna come out later this year. If it does, or you can get hold of a keg. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my spicy challenge is catching up with me now, and obviously obviously a nine percent beer isn't gonna help that. Uh but yeah, if this does come out and you can pick hold pick up or get hold of a keg uh well in date and that, uh I would highly recommend it if assuming that it's gonna be a bit more livelier. That's the only downside, really. It's a little bit lifeless. But as I say, could be the date on it. But taste-wise, fantastic beer. And I would certainly get it again, just on the taste-wise. Uh, when that'll be, I don't know, because I've got eight litres to drink on my own now. So that <laughs> should be quite interesting. But uh, that's it for this beer review. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I say, I got it reduced. I think it was 35 quid, 36 quid. Generally, I think it, it, you're looking about 45 quid for a 9% beer and 8 litres of it. So I don't think that's a, a, a bad price in all honesty. Uh, so yeah, if it does come around that you can get hold of it, pick one up. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel because, you know, I like subscribers. And I want to hit that big thousand now. Uh, I'm around 920-ish. Uh, so please subscribe. Don't forget Scott and Wonders Live. Contact me if you want the left thing. And that's it. So I'm going to leave you in peace. I may well come back with another beer review. But if not, you'll probably be glad of the piece. So thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good weekend. Cheers.